Your therapist will make recommendations for your bandaging supplies. For the purpose of this video, we will be using these supplies. If recommended by your therapist, please start with the finger bandaging video first. Not everyone requires the use of finger bandages. This video will demonstrate bandaging of the hand and arm. After first cleansing the skin with mild soap, and thoroughly drying the area. Apply low pH lotion, fragrance-free and dye-free, such as Eucerin or Elta. The tubular bandage, or stockinette, should have a hole cut to allow for the thumb. Smooth the stockinette out over the hand and the entire arm. Apply padding at the hand. Cut or tear a hole to accommodate the thumb and spiral wrap padding with a 50% overlap around the hand and wrist and proceed up the arm. Apply double padding for added protection to the inside of the elbow. Be sure to maintain a slight bend at the elbow while bandaging. If one padding bandage is not enough to cover the arm, use a second padding bandage. Next you will apply the short stretch brown bandage. You will use various sizes. First bandage. Begin with the smallest at the wrist. Use moderate tension, covering all of the hand, including the knuckles. You will use a number of layers, applying bandages from the knuckles to the wrist. Keep the fingers open and extended while wrapping the hand. You may have extra bandage left over. Continue with the extra bandage onto the forearm, wrapping in a spiral fashion. Second bandage. Use the next largest bandage in your kit. Begin at the wrist. Each individual turn overlaps the previous turn by approximately 50% in a spiral fashion covering the entire forearm. Third bandage. Use the next largest bandage in your kit. Begin in the reverse direction on the lower forearm. Cover the forearm and elbow in a spiral fashion.
Keep moderate to strong tension on the bandage until you reach the armpit. Secure all bandages with tape. Fourth and last bandage starts at your wrist and spirals up the arm to the underarm. Remove all bandages if any of the following occur after bandage application or after wearing bandages. Numbness or tingling in the limb, color change in the skin, shortness of breath, decreased urination, abdominal swelling, or pain in the limb. If symptoms do not resolve after removing bandages, seek medical attention. Thank you.